In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how I managed to gain my first 10,000 followers on Instagram within six months. Now, I know what you're thinking. Well, I did, but this journey to 10K was different in some ways, so I thought it deserved its own video. But in case you're interested, I will link it above as well as in the description box below. To start off, let me stress the importance of a couple of key points that were instrumental to my Instagram growth journey. Let's begin with part one, which is the setup. And this includes setting your objectives and realistic goals. So it's very easy to feel overwhelmed when you're first starting out on Instagram. Just remember that every big influencer that you see on Instagram or any other social media platform started from scratch with zero followers. In my case, back in 2021, during the pandemic, I decided to create an Instagram account that focused on my outfits, styling, and of course, my tattoos. My ultimate goal was to grow my account and connect with like-minded individuals while showcasing my style and ink. Now, it's obviously great to dream big, but it's super important to also be realistic with yourself. That being said, I started off with setting small goals. For example, I started off with reaching 500 followers within a specific time frame, then I would try to reach higher and higher after achieving the first goal and so on. So looking back, setting clear objectives and realistic goals was essential. Next up, I set up a posting schedule. Even with zero followers, consistency is key. If you want people to discover your account and follow you, you need to post content plain and simple. Ever since I started posting on Instagram, I've always wanted to have an aesthetic looking feed to help drive attention to my account. To do this, I would use third-party apps like Preview to help with the aesthetics of how I wanted my feed to look like. I stayed consistent with this and slowly started to realize that having an aesthetic feed with a common theme helped a lot with making my account stand out. And I know it may seem a little odd posting when no one's following you, but just trust the process. Now let's move on to the next part, which is connecting with other creators and finding your audience. First, I looked at other content creators in my niche for inspiration. The Explore page is a great place to discover other creators within your niche. I'm also aware that Instagram is improving or has improved their searching system, so using specific keywords that describe your niche can lead into discovering other creators as well. I also utilize relevant hashtags within my niche. These are not only crucial for others to discover your content, but also for you to find and engage with potential followers. Similar to using the Explore page, Typing in keywords slash hashtags within your niche in the search bar can lead into discovering your audience. For example, if you're a beauty creator looking for your potential audience, searching up things like fall makeup looks or beauty hacks can help lead you to your audience. After identifying similar creators and my potential audience, I started to engage with them daily. I'd actually spend a minimum of 20 minutes engaging with their posts. This includes liking, commenting, and following relevant creators. After consistently liking their posts and interacting with their followers, I finally gradually started to build my own community. But just remember, there are limits to how much you can engage on Instagram to avoid temporary or even permanent bans. Here's a quick diagram that I found online that highlights the daily limits of interaction. As I started gaining more attention, I was eventually approached by other creators within my niche asking me to join their engagement group. For those who don't know what an engagement group is, it is a group of creators who collectively agree to assist each other with the promotion of Instagram posts to get an increase in engagement. This includes likes, comments, saves, follows, etc. Now, engagement groups are a hit or miss in my opinion. I think participating in a group like that is fine to do when you're a small growing creator, as long as these groups are within your respective niche. For example, if you want to attract audiences that are interested in outfits, styling, and aesthetics, then stick to engagement groups that have accounts that only post that type of content. The more specific it is, the better. So I started joining engagement groups within about three to six months. And once my account grew to over 200K, I just left those groups, obviously. So I honestly think it doesn't hurt to have a little boost of engagement as long as it's from the right audience. Now on to content. After studying what others in my niche were doing, I slowly improved my content. I improved my setup, invested in a higher quality camera, got higher quality props, and slowly improved on my editing skills. Consistently posting content and improving on it will eventually lead to more growth, especially as a small creator. Finally, I experimented with different content styles and trends. 
formats. For instance, integrating reels and using formats like Get Ready With Me significantly boosted my growth. Even with over 200k followers on Instagram, I'm still constantly finding new variations and trends to showcase my content. Also, keep in mind that there are currently over 2 billion users on Instagram, so the competition is harder than ever to gain people's attention. So finding new and innovative ways to showcase your content is crucial if you want to stay relevant and keep growing. And there you have it. These are all the steps I took to get my first 10,000 followers on Instagram within six months. It's been quite the journey of setting goals, consistency, engagement, and content improvement. And remember, the Instagram algorithm takes time to work its magic. For example, it took me about two years in total for my Instagram account to grow from zero to 300k followers. If you're just starting out on your Instagram journey, don't get discouraged by the lack of followers that you have. Keep your goals in mind, stay consistent, and engage with your niche community. Over time, you'll see the growth you're aiming for. If you enjoyed this video or found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more content. Also, don't forget to follow all my socials on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And last but not least, I also have a Patreon. Thanks so much for tuning in and until next time, take care.